I'll come back to um, so what a perspective is a little later. So 1999, you see, that's the left-hand side column. And so Radis Economics and, and, I don't know, Purple, I guess it is, uh, is business or non-economics. And in 1999, um, that, so these are the 12 people in the top 40 I mentioned. Okay, so if you look at that, it seems as if uh, business is actually not all that important. But that, that's an artifact of the way things are done. Because at that time, you know, this, the, 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 the top 40 was based on a list of journals. These journals were economic journals. So if you're really good at business, typically you wouldn't end up in economic journals. Okay? So if you go to 2003, for some reason the other years weren't on the website, or at least I don't think I saw them, you see that the total has gone up and also that business is now much bigger. Uh, and I think partly that simply reflects the change in, in the way things are counted. Because, you know, business was already really strong, and now it, it gets visible. And, I, and, and that's important, because I think, you know, at the end of the day, a university can only be good if everything is good. Which, by the way, also implies it should not be ec not just uh, economics and business administration, but law, language, everything has to be good. Otherwise, it's not sustainable. So I think it's just terrific that business did so well. And if you sort of look at how we hire, you know, we, we look at applications, and the first thing you look at is where are they from. And, you know, by and large, many universities, if an applicant is not from Harvard, MIT, and a few other places, it's close to impossible to, to, that that applicant will actually get a job. And it's testimony to the quality of, of Tilburg and, and the reputation that now, actually, we're in a position where some of the graduates go to these places. So this year... Tilburg placed a graduate at the University of Chicago, and I think just that's, you, know, you can hardly overestimate how important that is. So I think that's an extreme success, and really, you know, as, as many kudos as possible for the people who made this happen. So there are things that I haven't shown that, that sort of really, I think, tell us that there is, there is this real quality there. Um, we talked about, uh, Case Kudak talked about center date a little bit, and, and center date is sort of an ironic twist on the whole thing because, uh, you know, when I left in the 2000 center date, there was always this issue, is it going to survive until next year? Um, and and I've, all, I've often said, you know, the only reason why uh, it got so much better is that uh, I was the director when I left and I was in bad shape and then Marcel Das came in and since that time they're making money like water, as you say in Holland. So, you know, clearly it has something to do with, uh, with who, who is in charge. Center date, I think, is a great success. Um, and it's important because center date is part of a new environment for science, they have an internet panel that you can do really innovative stuff that otherwise you can only do in, in a lab. Center has a, a laboratory in which a lot of new work is done. It, it leads many people in Tilburg to be leaders in the, in the new field of behavioral economics, which I think is very important. Neuroeconomics is done. It's another exciting field that not many, it is not being done in many places. Uh, I know that Rick Peters has a lab where he does eye tracking, which is sort of you know, one branch, if you like, of, uh, of neuroeconomics. So there is just a lot, and, and that, I think, is really different with, with the way it has been for a long time. If you sort of think of new, exciting environments in economics, uh, uh, def new, exciting development in economics, then I think Tilburg is there. You know, that, that there really is great potential. Um, and, and if, um, of course, I knew that Case Kudak was going to be here, so, you know, that I, I guess, but that's not why I'm saying that current leadership. So I've talked to a number of people sort of recently, not just Case, but others, and I, I think there's really... The way things are going, they're going in the right way. You know, there is a basis that, uh, that's strong, and, and I think that there's real potential for, for Tilburg to, uh, to have a great future and, uh, ahead of it. Now, sort of look, looking at how the, the culture of center has pervaded the faculty, how, as far as I can see, all departments are internationally oriented, are ambitious, research-oriented. I think the integration has actually been a really good, a really good thing, and I think you know again, Tilburg in particular, the faculty should be congratulated for uh, for doing that. So, from where I stand at this point, I think a bright future lies ahead, and there's only this one wrinkle they have to do something about. <laughs> <laughs>